in there. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I'm sitting on the floor. I'm sitting on the floor because I'm feeling the floor. Okay. So, when it's when it's moving. Try and get comfortable. So, considering we're talking about the whole comment right? It's important to explain a little more. Is this Kama Sutra going to cause arousal and sensuality and pheromones and, and all these things? Yeah, yeah. But it's a it's a teaching it's a teaching tool. Okay, so I just kind of like am, am pulled to do a reading, so I kind of feel like let's just feed and find out why. Um, I don't know why I'm doing it inside in the little corner in my room. You're probably wondering why is this dresser next to this dresser? Because this dresser doesn't pull off in the shelving zone. Cade actually just picked this dresser up. He's so impressed. He's so impressed with this dresser. I can't, like, I can't even tell you. He's like, oh my god, did I break it? Am I doing it right? Oh. Uh-oh, something's stuck. <clears throat> something stuck. I don't know what I did. I just banged it the other day. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Maybe my dad can fix it. Um, what was the whole point of that? Oh yeah, Sheldon's up there. But the sun, he's drawn to this dresser. Maybe you guys are drawn to this dresser because I'm like, I'm gonna sit right here on the floor and do this read. And I haven't done that in a long time. Sit on the floor and do a read. And I know this is linked to the comment social video, and I don't know how or why. But we're gonna find out. Okay, so. We're gonna check. We're gonna check ourselves. So once again, um, this is 18 and plus. Okay, um, I gotta say it on YouTube. On YouTube. So let's see. Let's see what we're looking at. Ooh, you know what song just came to? If it's meant to be, let it be. Baby, just let it be. And the thing is, that came to me in a read today. Two, two reads today. So, I don't know what your deal is. But let's, let's find out. <clears throat> oh, this is my favorite card at the bottom of the deck of four ones. This one's my favorite. Okay, um, but anywho, so you pulled the hangman and the ace of cups. I don't know if you're dealing with the Pisces, um, this is a message from spirit, right? So to me, it's saying you need to change your perspective when it comes to an intimate relationship with someone. Because with the four of wands being at the bottom of the deck, guys, okay, it's it's like eleven eleven too, right? But it's a solid it's a solid foundation. So it's it's like spirit bringing you a cup, filling your cup, right? Um, and there's there's two of you here. So I, I guess this would be a reading for somebody who's being intimate with somebody and not necessarily being single, which defeats the purpose of it being linked to Kama Sutra. But not, not really, because this might be what you would attract. Um, <clears throat> again, you could be dealing with a Pisces, or to me, it's right off the bat of saying, change your perspective, because there's an offering. Like this earlier. Maybe that's why I needed to be on the floor. Straighten my back out, my posture or something. Whoa, whoa. What do we got? So we got the pool. So we do have a new opportunity. I don't know or it's coming. It's a leap of faith, right? You got the King of Swords. Out of all King of Swords, this is the one I'm not too crazy about. Um the wheels here too. 
is, can you take a leap of faith? But there's something tricky here. Both of these cards has exterior energy. So I don't know if we got a third party or not. But we have exterior energy. So say it's not a third party situation. Say it's more, you got out of a relationship and you got into another relationship. But you still have the energy of the other relationship. Or it's a third party. But see the exterior energy? Can you take a leap of faith? Because look at the snake wrapped around them. It's, it's a tricky situation. Okay. And it's almost like this king desire is very disciplined. The king of swords is usually an authority figure. Um, but there's like a maiden in the back. You know what it reminds me of? I don't know if you guys, it's, it's only on Hulu. A hands made tale. If, if you can't handle certain stuff, that would not be a good series for you to watch. I actually just, first time in a long time, started watching Hulu. So I don't know if maybe you should stay inside and start watching Hulu. It's not the whole Netflix and chill. It's, there's something very, um, there, it's like there's a maiden. There's there's something. There's something here. But there's there's also love here. And they're saying, I, I need you to, to change your perspective. Because there there's some type of offering. There's something here. But if you tell me, if you ask me, it's one of these things, well, something that feels really wrong because there's something tricky about the situation. But the universe is asking you to change your perspective. So to me, it's like one of these things, like, are you going to take a leap of faith? Are you going to go in this direction? I don't know if somebody's trying to control the situation. There's definitely somebody on the outside. So... But there's an offer of love. So I, I guess that's probably a confusing situation for some of you. Because there is some type of energy attached to it still. So maybe somebody is just getting out of a relationship and heading towards you. We got strong Pisces, Aries, Aquarius here. But regardless of the signs, this is an offering. And they're saying change your perspective, enjoy yourself. That would be like tantric sex right there. So that would be linked to like the Kama Sutra. But again, because the snake with the fool and all the exterior energy. Are you going to take a situation that involves fulfillment? But if you ask me right now, it does not feel like fulfillment because there's something exterior. But it had to have been presented to you. Right? And again, at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Chalices. So this is something that's going to take time as a turtle. One, one step at a time. Can it be linked to confusion? Yeah, because look at it. It's like you're intimate in this one too. Right? So... There's, there's something here. What else? What else? What else? What else? You got the nine of wands under the hangman. So what this is telling me, hi. So what this is telling me, I can do that afterwards because I'm just doing the video. This Nine of Wands talks about getting together and talking. I don't know if someone wants to walk. Again, you got someone in the background, right? So it's, it's fighting for something. It is fighting. Have a conversation so something changes your perspective because there's a situation where the Ace of Cups is here. It's, it's fulfillment. The universe is bringing some type of fulfillment. But there's still something tricky attached to this fulfillment. So to you, it would be like, well, well, why? If there's a, if there's someone exterior to you, right? Why have a conversation? But it's like saying, go ahead, have a conversation.
See, this is tricky for me to even have this conversation with you because there's someone exterior. But the universe is saying change your perspective. It's, there's an offer of fulfillment. Looks pretty damn sexual, but <clears throat> could go in another direction. But this will lead to a new start. You're going to have to take a leap of faith. There's a there's a conversation. There's options. you got to weigh out your options, I, su I should say. I don't know if something's too slow or it needs to be slow or it's, it's just like Romeo's not coming in on a horse, guys. They're, they're riding a turtle. And it's ironic because I just told you about Sheldon. For those who don't know Sheldon, he's my tortoise. Right? <laughs> so, like, I don't know if you feel like you're in a cage right now, you know? And <clears throat> with the Nine of Wands, it's like, go ahead, have the conversation. But again, I, you know, there's somebody in the background. Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Tell me about the Hangman. Because I didn't say that, and I'm actually just going to clarify these. I'm actually going to clarify... <clears throat> All six of these. So let me put this back up here. I want to be able to look at them. <clears throat> so I can tell you a story. Oh, yeah, what I was saying was this exterior energy. So it's like, okay, yeah, go ahead and have a conversation, right? But then it's like, <clears throat> I'm not promoting putting yourself in that situation either. That is for damn sure. But no judgment, right? So tell me about the hangman. But here's the thing, if the hangman's bringing into death and situation with the fool, he has, is taking a leap of faith. But it's like you're taking a leap of faith <clears throat> while playing with fire because the dynamics are going in like this. This king of swords and this exterior energy, the way the fool in the nine of wands, this conversation, they're going right towards each other. And in the middle, you know, you, you have this situation where there's exterior energy. Tell me about the hangman. So if we're going to use this as a tool for a, 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 a teachery moment with a Kama Sutra, this is saying to me how to control... A situation because it looks like there's intimacy with with exterior energy. But if it was presented, you gotta know right from wrong, right? You gotta know how to flow. You have the Queen of Chalices. Well, she looks like she's flowing. So it could be somebody who has Pisces in their chart. This is a Cancer card, but this is. It's like. It's like they're promoting, once again, they're promoting this relationship. So if it's a third party, <clears throat> please don't pass judgment on me for reading this <clears throat> situation. Because this is hard for me to explain. Because this is one of these situations where the divine comes in <clears throat> to straighten out a situation. And look at my throat chakra. <clears throat> I'm even having a hard time talking about this for you. <clears throat> it's like the universe is almost saying <clears throat> <clears throat> nurture the situation I know guys fucked up <clears throat> I, I don't know if this is just that I'm to come in with you guys like to me it's like promises commitment you got the eight of pence at the bottom of the deck and it led, it led off with the temptation Right, but if it's being presented to you, they're saying nurture it. it. This had to have been something new. If this has not been presented to you yet, it will be because the fool is here. It's brand new. It's the zero. It's mystical. It's magical. You don't know. It's unknown. Say you say somebody. <clears throat> say for instance, I'm in a relationship. Somebody comes into my life. I'm already married. I meet someone. <clears throat> they flip my whole freaking world and make me like go crazy like oh my god what do I do like I, I know this happened for a reason there's a lesson here 
in it. But right now it's saying kind of stick it out because it's got to be a meant to be because I was just singing, if it's meant to be, it will be, baby, just let it be. Because they're saying to the feminine to nurture it. Good thing I'm not married. But I know people put themselves in situations like this all the time. I can't even tell you the amount of clients where they find themselves in this in this situation. And I'm always like, get out, get out, get out as quick as you can. You know, but it's like, who, who am I to judge? Because it's part of your past karma, right? That's why you have to be so in tune with who you are, your own body, your mind, your body, your soul. That's where the karma is just playing a role here. So it'll probably be a really good thing for you. I mean, I, I, I don't need to, it's like, I don't even need to practice it. Sometimes it just, it, it comes in, it's like, where did you just come from? But I, I, I myself, I'm going to start practicing this too. So I can get more in tune with certain things too, right? So they're saying to nurture a situation and some of you are like, that is so incredibly effed up. But if you got this new opportunity, there's a reason. Maybe the intimacy, meet, the intimacy will stop and you guys will become friends. I, I don't know, but continue to nurture it. So you got to use your, your own best judgment here, troops, on how you want to pursue this exterior energy that is to you or coming towards you. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Baby, 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 just let it be. Welcome to Raw Love. Finding love or something pure or raw does not always start off the way people think it does. You got the Ace of Swords under the Ace of Chalices. Have the damn conversation. Things will become clear. I think someone's guarded. We have a heart on the table. You know, somebody, obviously you're dealing with somebody like a dominated situation or somebody that's very disciplined. Once again, the King of Swords is representing man in uniform. Authority figure is a, a King of Swords. So like in time, right? There's something here where you get the clarity. If if you nurture it, if you have a conversation, you get clarity, and then from there, you you might pursue it, or somebody might leave someone, or it's it's complicated. In time, this is not something that's just like boom. It's just not because it's just freshly going to be presented to you if it hasn't been presented to you yet. So some of you guys are gonna go through a pretty rough cycle. Tell me about the fool, but a, a cycle that was meant for some type of karmic lesson. in the Nine of Pence, so we got temptation, but we also have confidence walking into something. Because the fool has this much confidence. The two of you have enough confidence. So confidence is not an issue. But this is temptation. This is like, hey, I'm going to take a, a, a lock of your hair, and I'm going to keep it with me. But I think it's more symbolic. There's something very symbolic here. Serendipitous, for sure. I mean, you could... No, I don't see it that way. Tell me about the King of Swords. So if you're in a relationship, you met someone, or vice versa. There's, there's no question you got a new opportunity. You could have been intimate with somebody, and you don't know that they're with someone yet. And I'm kind of like breaking it down for you. It's the emperor, okay? So under the king of swords, Aries, Aquarius, energy, somebody, a leadership role, right? It's and at the bottom of the deck, you have, you have the queen of swords. And, you know, he's staring right at her. He's tempted. The, the emperor likes to do things on his own time. So you are dealing with somebody who is kind of in charge and definitely has another scenario. 
but from the looks of it, it's, it's telling you to nurture it. It could be on a friendship level. <clears throat> it just does not look like a friendship level. And, and he's just watching her. Thinking about her. But they act on their own time. You're dealing with somebody who's extremely disciplined. Extremely disciplined. Tell me about the seven of chalices. Got the three of wands. So your options, your ships are here. Like, is there's something here that's that's very passionate? Um, all I see is the one wand, but it's the three of wands, right? So it's like the two of you are your own, your own wands. You each your own wand is is magnified. It's it's. Will you? Unite, will you, will you unite, will, will you spark your own wands, will you spark your own candle, like, the two of you together, there's no question you're intimate. The three of wands, you know, talks a distance, it talks about manifesting again the, the king is looking the the emperor is looking at her so you guys are together you are intimate is there a future is there not future could there be could there not is is there something or someone playing games is you know there's there's a, a distance it could be a town over it could be four hours away you could have to fly you know but it's like It's going to unravel in time. But it's like in the moment, there's someone. There's someone else in the moment. Somebody's going to come in and make promises. So once again, there's, there's a meant to be something. And I know it seems incredibly fucked up. People get in and out of relationships all the time. When you find a connection, <clears throat> sometimes it just happens to start off in the wrong situation. But the universe put you there because it's the right situation. So how do you find your way? How do you maneuver through this? It's a test. Remember your morals. Because you're being asked to maneuver. And it's got to be done the right way if you're going to maneuver around this scenario. And this is not sneaky, like go behind someone's back. It may be like that for a little while, but... It's not meant to, to end up that way. This What I'm reading is is not meant for somebody to stay in this marriage. It's not meant for somebody to stay in a relationship. It is meant for somebody to go in a new direction. Two new people in a brand new direction being asked to take a leap of faith. You had to have both been seeking fulfillment, love, something pure, something raw, or the hangman wouldn't have came in. But you're going to have to change your perspective of the situation. And that has to do with your morals. And actually, this makes a lot of sense because in the Kama Sutra video, it talked about intuition and morals. But you're being asked to nurture it. So I don't know who, who I think the two of you are going to nurture a situation. And it, it's tricky because you're, you're being asked to maneuver through this. Because at the end of the day, it, it looks like you guys are supposed to be together. You could be dealing with someone older than you because the emperor is here with the queen. If you guys were the same age, the empress would have came out. He's older or he's younger or vice versa. And it, promises are eventually going to be made. Tell me about the nine of wands. I 
um, and you got the five of swords. So you guys have to watch your back right now. It's it's arguing too. It's going back and forth. It's it's feeling like it's it's a loss, but the it's the eight of wands is here. The journey is here. And look at all you guys is this connection is pure beauty between the two of you. But what's exterior to you is like you're looking at it like I gotta watch my back. There there's something very beautiful about this connection in a in a fucked up way. Okay, but you're being asked, you know, to have a conversation and, and, and not turn your back, but watch your back at the same time, right? Because now you're in a tricky situation. It was just 26, 26. So it's finding balance <clears throat> between an intimate company or friendship or loved ones in general. So it's it's asking you to find the balance here. See what I'm saying? So it, it's like it encourages you to take a time out to meditate, to pray, or focus on, uh, upon spiritual, you know, um, interest practices, using your intuition to take the next steps. You know. Um, <clears throat> It also encourages you to find, um, it, it's again, it's the balance, but it, it has to do with love. My energy is so crazy that, look at, hold on, let me take the brightness down. <clears throat> when it does this, it like glitches, right? Oh, and now it's scrolling before it wouldn't, it would be like, boo, boo, boo. Um, so... It's like there's a like-minded soul here, and it's saying enjoy the deeper, more open, and authentic connection, right? It's st stretch your mind and nourish your spirit. So see what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of meant to be. It's, it's also asking you, there, there's somebody that's presented in this moment, and it's, it's asking you to cherish them. So I understand that this seems like a really fucked up situation, but like I said... They're asking you to nurture a situation here. And, and if you're on the other end of the spectrum and you're in a relationship and you think something's going on, it, this has got to be a painful read, right? Because this is when destiny comes into play. But in all retrospect, there was no way you were in a happy marriage. There's no way. Because this wouldn't have been brought upon anyone. And it's probably hard because... You know, with the Three of Wands being there with the Emperor, I mean, this could be a marriage, somebody who, something with foreign lands, could have married someone from foreign lands. It's like they still have a bond. It's just not the bond this person that was in the marriage or relationship was seeking. And now there's a special sacred thing happening here. And it's asking you to, to, to cherish each other, which is... A difficult situation. Um, what did else it say? Seek out like-minded people. Yeah, no, this is, you don't need to seek. It's already here. Like-souled people. Enjoy a deeper, more open, authentic connection. Stretch your mind and nourish you guys' spirit. Right? So, you are in a super complicated situation. And it's, it's kind of meant, it was meant to go down this way, right? And it's meant for you guys to start your journey. So, it's like, here's this newness. And you got to maneuver through a very difficult situation. It's like, I think maybe you guys just thought like right off the rip, like, oh, if I'm going to be put in a new situation and all these blessings are going to come and, and, and all this stuff, like, it, it's got to be able to flow. You're going to step into something easy. Nah, you just stepped into a fucking mud pit. I'm not going to lie to you. Because at this point, you have standards, you have morals. But your intuition, being very intuitive right here with the Pisces and the Cancer, is leading you to keep going, to seek the clarity. Tell me about the Five of Swords real quick. So, 
I wish you guys luck here because this is when you have to be in total control of your mind, body, and spirit. It, it's Maybe you need some type of spiritual practice to keep you busy Why there's something happening here because, you know, somebody would look at this as awful timing, but this was divine timing. So it's, it's time. It's the King of Cups, right? So it's like, it's, it's almost like a Pisces energy too. So it's almost like, see, he's got someone else, but he's got somebody else. It, it's tricky or a woman's got two men and, and vice versa. So you could be dealing with with Pisces, but to me this is this is feeding that craving um, that this person has have been seeking. So it's a it's a new start with the fool, it's this newness, it's, it's taking a leap of faith. But it's also following your intuition. You're definitely seeing synchronicities. There's no question. And when you see synchronicities, the universe is telling you you are aligned. So it, it is kind of helping. And it, is, it was meant for you guys to maneuver through this and do things the right way. Not, not how other cycles were performed. Okay. Um, tell me about the Ace of Cups. tower so it's it came into it's abrupt <clears throat> abrupt moment that just came in and the two of chalices is behind it but again there's a third person but it's the two of cups you guys have something and it's asking you to have the strength or you're dealing with a leo right or a scorpio someone's got a lot of scorpio in their chart but the tower, to, so to you, it would be a tower moment. It would be like, oh my God, like seriously? It would be a tower moment. How can it not? But there's somebody, there's somebody jealous too. But regardless of that, it's just saying, yeah, there, there is a third party. There is exterior energy, but there's also a connection here with the two of cups. It, your cup was not fulfilled, neither of you, because this, what this is, brings the two of you fulfillment. How long will it take? I don't know. Are you willing to take a, a leap of faith? I don't know. Uh, are you willing to, to jump in? And I, I tell you guys all the time, like, don't just jump in, but I, I don't know, I don't know what you're going to do with this one. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. It's the king of pence, all right? So it's the ring around the rosy. It's all these people, because this is one energy, they're secure, they're authority-like figures. They got feelings. They could be in a relationship. They're stable. They enjoy the chase. They enjoy the temptation. But there's something very sensual here. See what I'm saying? Like, you guys are playful. It's bringing back someone's playfulness. It's, it's bringing somebody's youth back. And you can be 30 and, and, and need to have that childlike energy again. I just want to clarify that the hangman one more time. Not one more time. I just want to, the hangman, please. Because this was a divine situation. They're asking you to change your perspective on the situation but you're like holy holy moly like I, I, holy moly right and it's the ten of swords so to me it's again there's somebody on the outside with the two of cups at the bottom of the thing you, you you connected with another two you connected with somebody who is in a relationship and to you it's like the, it's like the two of you are going to feel stabbed in the back. So I don't know if the two of you have trust issues. There, There's something going on here. But it was a meant to be scenario. And I, I think right off the bat, anyone's 
minds would be like, no freaking way. Like, this is, this is heartache. This is done. This is over. But they're saying, change your perspective. Stop telling yourself you're going to be stabbed in the back. Stop telling yourself this is a failure. Stop telling yourself this won't work. Stop telling yourself X, Y, Z. You have to change your perspective on what this is. You can't just say, this is a effing disaster. And, and anyone with common sense you would think would be, this is a fucking disaster. Like, this is a no. No, 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 no. But there's a connection here. Tell me about the Queen of Chalices. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. And I think we're going to wrap it up. It's, it's the Nine of Wands, right? So it's... It's like a new beginning, and it's <sighs> someone likes breast. You could be dealing with someone who, or you like your own breast, or there you're dealing with somebody who likes breast, because it's it's like his face, his head is in both of her breast. But it's a new, it's a new start. It's a new passionate start, you know. It's, but you gotta stay grounded in this situation. But this adventure started. If it hasn't started yet, this is what is about to be presented to you. And it, it I want to even say, look, yeah, it's an unfortunate situation. But. They're asking you to nurture this. So use your best discernment here, please. Don't kill the messenger. Best advice. Maybe somebody's just getting out of a marriage or a relationship and you're like, oh, I don't want to be re rebounds or I don't want to play side tricks. Like, however... However, however it works for you, but that was the wheel in the high priestess. But however this goes goes down for you, you gotta use your intuition here too in order to, to turn the real the wheel the right way. Okay, and it's the ten of chalices, so this leads to fulfillment. But if you ask me, it, it's like somebody's like, mm, mm, but it leads to fulfillment. You got the ace of wands, so it's. It's, you're, you're about to be in a sexual situation or well, you already are and this is what's occurring but it's going to lead to something inspirational it's going to lead to fulfillment it was fulfillment anything else I want to know what Shakana is, is doing this Chicana is doing this. I just want to see what a Chicana, because I wasn't doing that yet. Well, I can't tell with that many coming out. Shit. But it's the first one that came out, right? I'm going to do this one more time. It's the Ten of Wands. It's heavy, but it's it's hot and it's passionate and it's intimate. I mean, look at you guys. You guys aren't getting dirty, nasty, tricky cards. Like you guys, you're getting cards of passion. It's 10 10. It's 10 10 with a one, right? So it's 1 1 1 right now. You got all the other ones. Like, which Akana is doing this? Unless it's already on the board. Hold on. Because it could be the house, your Pisces. It could be the eighth house. I know where your Scorpio lies. Well, which planet? I either want the Akana or planet that's playing a role here. I think it's Jupiter.
Looks like the first house, Aries, which is a fresh start. Somebody, it, it looks like definitely, it's just a fresh start with the fool, guys, with the king of wands. And, and look at the precious, this king of wands. Like the, it's, it's like what you guys have is, is, is heavy, is, but it's, it's precious. But you're starting a new cycle. See what I'm saying? So it's, it's not going to tell me necessarily the planet, but I, I think it has a lot to do with Jupiter because it's, it's like a blessing in disguise. And right now it seems like a very messed up one, but <clears throat> the challenge here is to maneuver. I should throw you a Ganesha. Ooh, sorry, Luce. I didn't mean to start with you. And it's ironic I was even pulled to my Garnetias because um, Hindu, right? And that's the form of the Kama Sutra. Let me get with these cards. It's been a long time. You know how I connect with these suckers. So powerful. There's my red glasses. cards are just breathtaking. I'm just going to tell you where you're at in this journey. You might be able to explain a little better what's happening. So maybe you can look at this in a different situation. I don't even know why I was just pulled to Ganesha or what I said to even be pulled here. But it's just gorgeous. You know, because Ganesha, you know, it, it helps unblock paths, obstacles, clears the way. This has got to be one of my most powerful decks. I usually get emotional with these, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Alright, what's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? Splendor. Splendor, but you, have, you also have protection. This is, it's a protected union. That means no one can kind of fuck with it, but let's just read Splendor. Okay. Where are, I just look at my other video glasses. What's up? Got me coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Is it mayonnaise or? Okay, awesome. Yeah, I will have. Oh yeah, I will have coleslaw. All right. Can we just stick it on the dresser first? Just the wrap it in this video. Yeah, I'll buy me a dresser. Yeah. 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 These fries are not the kind of soggy. Yeah, those are the best ones. I know I'm weird. I like the soft ones. Are my red glasses over there? No? Alright, I'm just going to struggle with these. I'm just going to struggle with these. Because apparently we all struggle with Um, shut the job since I'm doing the video for that man, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
-hmm. It just looked like a full bar. Yeah, I got too much cash in my purse right now. All right, I'll be out. I'll be done shortly. I don't know where my glasses are. Oh, I'm gonna use that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. You can check your car how much it was, and then we'll back my half of whatever it was. All right. Love you. Okay. I'm just gonna use these glasses and hope for the best. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. Okay, seek and honor the beauty and the splendor within and whatever is around you right now. Garnetia is surrounded by beauty in this card. It's calling to your attention. Awaken what you're, what you're dealing with right now. You're surrounding yourself in this moment. See more deeply and be more aware of the impact of your surroundings and what situation you're in right now. Garnetia urns, urges you to be, Garnetia urges you in the beauty to penetrate within your heart. So it has a lot to do with your heart chakra, okay? Opening up that heart chakra, all right? You, you will naturally respond to how this beauty is, is, is coming into your life, but there's also things around you that you need to be aware of. It is critical that your voice has been, it's been, over, it's been overactive lately and you find yourself dwelling on negative behavior. Take a moment to realign yourself Kama Sutra. Take a moment to realign yourself. You've arrived. You've arrived in this world. Hold on, let my eyes adjust a minute. You've arrived in this world, unique and magnificent as an individual. The core. Lucy, can you not tip this? I feel like I got a spat over. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna. I'm not starting completely over now. I'm going to have to. Garnetia is surrounded in the beauty of this card, calling you to your intention. Awaken your surroundings within yourself and in this moment. Can you see deeply? You are impacted by your surroundings in your life right now. Garnetia urges you to see the beauty and to penetrate your heart. You will naturally respond to the beauty and fostering more. It wants you to love. It, it wants you to allow things into your life. It, it wants you to al allow things that are around you. It is critical that your voice has been overactive lately and that you find you've been dwelling on negative behaviors. And in this moment, you need to realign yourself. You've arrived in this world with a unique, magnificent individual. The core of your being is whole. It is beautiful. It is filled with love. The essence of this higher self wants you to more or less go within and create something. Garnetia is standing in the meadow surrounded by flowers. The flowers symbolize protection and beauty. The variety of colors stems from healing. It's the loving energy of the direction. The butterflies symbolize the change and the evolution in your soul that is undertaking right now in this moment. Remember, you have the awareness of your surroundings. See the splendor that is being shown to you and utilize this energy to support your own transformation in the transformation you are going through with another. So seek and honor yourself within and another. And then you got protection. We just talked about protection. So, it's all about your vibration, your frequency. Okay? It's the beautiful energy around you, it's the color, it's what you innate what you re resonate with. Garnetia oversees angels and protections. Garnetia's light is energy and serves you to release negative, whatever field, put it into the light. Visualize negative energy and, and whatever memories and stuff you're stuck on and release it. When previous pain shows up, it may not be clear and it is a particular part of your past event or a feeling of fear or a past experience that is going to be reflected in your current challenges and these lessons. It appears here when you're being triggered. Don't worry about the resistance and the distraction. It will be dealt with immediately if you can just get in tune with your mind and respond to the love that is here. You are assured that you will continue to grow and evolve in this challenge and through it. Garnetia will, will assist you in protecting your energy for the best possible results. It's a beautiful reading, guys. I, I hope this helps. And look at this fulfillment. It pops right out. This messed up situation brings healing and fulfillment. And they're asking you to understand. Okay. Um, very powerful read. These cards 
these Garnetia cards just help clear up everything I was trying to say with, without passing my own judgment. So just take a moment in life and um, enjoy what you have and see these cards make me so emotional because It's seeing the beauty in the devil. It, it, it's, it's seeing the beauty in a situation. A hard situation. So I wish you guys luck. And um, I know I gotta start doing these more for you. I have a hard time working with these cards because it's like right on the money with what is happening with you. And, and, and um, at least this time I didn't cry. I got choked up, but I didn't cry. I wish you luck, because this was a very hard read for me to read in an okay situation. And it, it, it's not okaying the situation, right? It's, you're in a new situation. I think you thought it would be not this. And if this is happening to you, I, I feel that pain too. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. I wish you luck in your future endeavors. I love you guys. And um, I get why it's, it's all linked. I don't think I've ever done a reading that was this long for this type of intimate reading, you know? So. a lot to, to even read this type of stuff for you. Anywho, um, I'm going to pull you a lesson card real quick. ironic my friends one of my friends is going through something like this I don't know how you I don't know how you do it I, 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 you know it's, it's got to be so hard all right you pulled balance all right it's bringing that perfect harmony into your world and doing it without judgment I, I wish you luck on this journey So, you guys, you guys will get through this. I'll help her through this. You guys, you, you will get through it. When you realize when somebody goes through something like this, right, and you're, you're close to this person, and it, it's hard not to do it without judgment, right? Hard for me, too. And, um, but then I also feel what those cards were telling me and how other people must feel in these situations and it, it takes incredible strength okay it truly truly does but um i believe in you believe in yourself believe in the universe believe in something higher believe in that power you know it's there's something here maneuver your way around it the right way so that way the outcome leads to the fulfillment 